Hey guys, this is the GTB, and welcome back to Nobunaga's Ambition, Iron Triangle. This is episode... 42. Yes, 42. Last we left off, these fuckers over here that are running away tried to assault us with... Horse-mounted guns. Wait. <laughs> People on horses with guns. There we go, horse-mounted guns. What? I think that's the correct usage, but I just said it retarded. <laughs> Worst mounted gun. Okay. I'm just confusing myself. <laughs> Onward to victory! Here comes the retaliation, you bastards. Nobunaga and them can't actually attack because, um, it would- Oh, come on! You should just shoot the guy. I'm sure Nobunaga keeps, like, a musket with him. Just pop. Pops off at, like, irritating messengers, like, I don't care! Bang! Dead. <laughs> I feel like he'd be that kind of guy. Angry warlord status. And you go over here. Okay. I'm just slowly sending men back, like, to the west. Because that's where most of the war is going to take place. All the forces in the east are pretty much dead. <clears throat> There's so few men left over here that they're not really even a threat. Are you? You're not, are you? Okay. I thought you were. You lied to me. How could you do that? How could you do that to me? Shiogama port. Jackass. Oh my god. And I have officers just like... I have a lot of officers just loitering apparently. Kashi Wazaki port. I need men over there. Go to them. Be their friend. It's a Nobufusa Baba. <laughs> okay. Now everything's sorted. Um. I don't know what they hope to accomplish by doing that, but to each their own, I guess. I really should get on that. Is this place repaired? Yes. How? Wouldn't they surrender to us? I'm gonna try it anyway. They have like no men. And we just like beat the crap out of them. Just 
justice. Get him! Get him! Get him! What was that from? That was from a movie. I can't remember. What movie was it? I can't remember. <laughs> I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it didn't matter. Brain. Come on, we gotta take out the castle before they get what? I hate you so much, Kenshin. You're a jerk. Go Tadatsumi. Got a couple good generals over here. We ain't taking this out. Got to fight these reinforcements yet here. How many? It's just the one. Okay, let's see how this goes. <clears throat> really? You're gonna say no. You're gonna say no. You see that sword behind you? I want you to take that sword and shove it through your face. Because that is what's gonna happen to you if I have to come over there and do that. So either do it yourself right now and call it a day or wait like six months and then I'll be knocking on your door with a sword to shove through your face. <laughs> your call, buddy. Oh, please tell me. Yes! Yeah, that's right. You get the hell out of here. You march your ass back to wherever you came from. Because you just goofed. Marched a long way just to get fucking shot at. <laughs> by officers and archers and shit. And they got confused by a decoy. Oh, that's beautiful. Can I send somebody out? Do we have any guns? No, but I'm still going to send out these guys. <gasps> Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Look, it's winter. So cool. Snow. What do you want? What do you want? Oh my god. You have stuff for me. I want that, because it's plus nine. <clears throat> Too many ninjas. You can't escape from prison. They should have ninjas in, like, actual prisons in real life. That'd be, like, amazing. Nobody would ever escape from jail. Just, like, these incredibly trained martial artists that just, like, guard the pri- Like, the prisoners, like, they don't see anybody. It just looks like an empty prison. They're in cells. You know, everything's, like, automated or something like that. So that when they need to eat or something like that, the doors just open. They come out, get their food. And they're kind of just stuck in, like, a box-type area. Something like that. And if any of them ever try to do anything rowdy or try to escape or something like that, just out of nowhere, like a ninja just comes out of a wall and just beats the shit out of them. <laughs> of course, it's just me being stupid because that sounds ridiculous in every manner of the word. I will send... That would be really cool, but really stupid at the same time, because it makes absolutely no sense. Prison ninjas! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, anybody would think that would be cool, just like, ninjas guarding prisons? Come on. But at the same time, it's like, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Should be beaten, <laughs> repeatedly. Getting ready for military operations out in the west. I need to pacify the east so I can just focus entirely on this area. Because <coughs> I have so many good officers and I have a lot of troops over here still, too. Get a kid. I'm serious. Don't even tell me he's asking me for another rate. Oh my god, they're asking me for another... Your stipend is going to be two freaking thousand. I'm going to break your legs. These people are... 
It's like, I need to get paid more? Like, why? Why? Aren't you getting paid enough? No, apparently not. They want me to be throwing, like, sacks of money at them, apparently. <laughs> Who? Are you serious? With how many men? You're an idiot. You're a blatant moron. <laughs> Like, straight up retard status. He just came at me with 5,500 men against a spot that has like 50,000 men guarding it. What could you be thinking that would make you think that was a good idea? I mean, off the top of my head, I have no freaking clue. That just sounds like and he's a moron. I have about 150,000 men dedicated to, like, the Western Front now, which means it's more or less gotten even. I probably still have, like, 170, 180,000 out in the East. More than I need, honestly. But, I mean, what the hell. Come on. Hurry up and get killed. They're losing a thousand men a shot. Watch, they're gonna turn around in like a second. There you go. I was like, how have you not turned around yet? Oh, they're dead. They can't get away. Nope, there we go. That was just stupid, beyond all belief. And we got free troops from that, basically. Um, I'm gonna start working on. Let's gather more food. I will ensure that we get the most food for our money. Um, all prepped up here, ready to go. Okay. With this, with this setup here, we automatically win like, every fight that we merge into. Yeah, Tatsuya Kubo. That name sounds very familiar. Akubo. Whatever. Watch out, like 30 some thousand men. It's fine. It's more than enough for like, what we need to do. You don't have any boats here? Are you kidding me? Field, 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 fishery. Go to the ranch. That's for training horses. Which is stupid for this particular region. I'm not as technologically active as I was with the Shimazu. I don't know why, I just am not. Um, yeah, there's no real reason for it, I'm just, I'm just not. Who are you? A guy that's not getting a job. There you go. Oh, the coalition just ended too, apparently. Failed miserably, apparently. Toyobu. Toyobu. Another Tenkai, huh? Sounds cool. Time for wars and such. Here we go. This is gonna be one hell of a battle. Thankfully, we've got good officers ready to go. Hang back. I mean, he could come, but doesn't have enough men that would make it like useful. I'll send no. Oh, so that's Iyasu's son. Cool. 
He's actually a pretty good officer. Welcome to the army, son. You're gonna be useful. Big things for you. Let's do this. Just launch like a massive invasion. Look how many men I have out. Jesus. I have more men deployed than like any other clan has in the actual military. I'm not overpowered. I'm just prepared. I'm very well prepared for any situation that may arise. So 44,000 men? That's good. That's plenty. Oh, come on. I'm backhand you. Freaking idiots. Oh, we just broke through the walls, too. Sweet. Masakage. Kenshin Sons, too. Iyasu's son versus Kenshin son. Well, Iyasu's there, too, but... It sounds more dramatic. Oh, we won. What a fool. Oh, come on. Now somebody's calling me? Skype's blowing up on me, somebody's getting calling me. It's like they know, they just want to piss me off at this point. Good try, loser. I'm reroute like troops from here. <laughs> Oh wait, Iyasu's son is over here. Oopsie daisy, so he's not over there. So it's Iyasu versus Kenshin's son. So it makes no damn difference. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Oh lord. Oh lord! Am I gonna get a move soon? Stop with the stabbing and shit. Okay? Come on, get stampede up in this bitch. Oh, it's almost there. Okay. Yeah, there's like ass backwards ways of checking it. Come on. I refuse to lose this fight. Wow, okay, yeah. Oh, please. yes! There we go. This is all of his troops, too. Except for this guy. Take him down. Is it any of you that just got it? Yes, it is. Do it now. Oh, well, they're confused. They can't def Oh, come on! How is that even a thing? They're confused. Oh, they still took mad damage.
Lang. Third down. It's still going to be a rough fight. But we got the field battle in the bag at least. Yeah, 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 keep screaming and such. Hey, don't chase people. It's rude. <laughs> Unfortunately, guys, I'm gonna have to cliffhang you here. You know, it's an epic battle. Which side's gonna win? You know, we're kind of getting the tactical advantage on the field, but they're sending out ambush units. They still have men in the castle. We have to siege the castle. We've got reinforcements coming from the north. Ieyasu's leading 10,000 men down to help us. So, the epic conclusion of this battle. We still have so much more to do, but the epic conclusion of pretty much the battle between the Oda and the Uesugi. I'm gonna call them the Uesugi because that's who Kenshin is. So, this is the GTB signing out. All you guys keep being awesome and, you know, just doing what you do. And I'll see you all in the next video.